Uh, but today what we are going to do is we are going to unbox and test out the brand new Cobalt XTR brushless hammer drill. Now this is a kit, comes with a battery, charger, and a hard case, which I was actually surprised with the hard case because I was just expecting a bag, which I was hoping for a bag, but it came with a hard case. So, all right, so let's unbox this and see what this looks like and test this out. Specs are on the back, so we're, we're, we are gonna read the specs. There we go. Let's see what the case looks like. All right, I was hoping for a blue. I was hoping for a, a blue outline right here, but that's all right though. Good start. Uh, Decently sturdy case, XTR on the side. Look at that. Look at that. All right, so first, first thing, here is the, the new uh, Ultimate Output 4 amp hour battery. Of course, the battery is dead. We're gonna have to put that on charge. This thing's actually pretty nice. It's uh it it is it is compact. It is very compact. All right, so it does come with a belt clip, which is fantastic, and it comes with a bit holder. That's interesting. We'll, we'll check that out. We'll see how this. We'll see how that that works. And the screw. All right, so uh the charger you you can mount it on the wall. The model number for the charger is uh, KRC two four four five dash zero three. 120 vert, 120 volts, 60 hertz, 45 watts. So I think it's the, I think it's a standard charger. Alrighty, so next you get the handle, which uh, let's compare that to the old handle. Here is the older handle, which it is actually a bit longer, which is, that's good because you want, uh, this actually, this probably will be a perfect size, which the same thing as this, it is uh, majorly reinforced with, uh, with, uh, I, I believe that's vinyl with fiberglass reinforcement because that, that is tough with a rubber molding handle and a nice good metal stem with good metal clamps. That's actually a pretty, pretty, that's actually a little heavier than the other model. So that's a nice handle. It really is. I, I like that. All right. And here is, here is the hammer drill. I thought it would be a little bit smaller. Let's compare this to the uh, the regular one. Actually, it feels heavier. This is very front heavy, so you will be, sorry that was the regular drill, but when it comes to the other hammer drill, this, this one is a little bit better balanced than this one is. Yeah, the XTR is majorly front heavy. So we are gonna do, in this video, we are gonna do a little comparison video between these two. And this is the size difference between the previous brush, uh, brushless model to the XTR. There is, there is a size difference. So there you go. Approximately, I'd say an inch, an inch. But it, that is disappointing. I thought this would be a little bit more, a little bit smaller. And I didn't realize, I didn't know that it was gonna be extremely front heavy. All right, so the model number for this uh, is K, uh, KXHD124B-03. Uh, it is a brushless motor, half inch metal chuck, metal inside and metal exterior for the grip. This is a 24 point clutch plus uh, zero. When it comes to this, uh, having the extra, uh, I, sorry, I do not know what it's called, having the clutch, or the transmission on a different bar. I'm not a fan of that because it's just one extra thing that you gotta do. I personally like having the options right here, you know, one, two, you no, know, because it, it's not an inconvenience to, to uh, twist the clutch. All right, so two speed settings. This goes to zero to 550 RPMs on speed one and on uh, speed two, zero to 2000 RPMs. So this has a torque up to 1,200 pounds, and this goes to, for the hammer feature. It goes to 32,000 beats per minute. Anti-kickback technology, compact design. Yes, it is compact, but it is. I'm going to extend this. This is extremely 
front heavy. Like the nose is heavy. Like and once you feel it, you'll you'll know what I'm talking about. I'll let the battery charge up and we'll do a little versus video between the old school versus the new school when it comes to the brushless motors. And there you go and how the belt uh the cl uh the bit clip works just like that. No other clip, no other uh option like uh on this one to have a uh, a uh, bit holder right there. There's only one screw in one position, so you do not have the option to have this left or right. Alrighty, so remember when you work, wear gloves and safety glasses. And uh, forgive me, you guys, it is like 10 o'clock at night right now, uh, so we will not be using the hammer feature in this video. This is just a test to see what the different, a, a little test to see what the difference is between the older brushless model against the newer brushless model when it comes to power uh, just using regular wood but more detailed uh, test videos will be coming up against this with the hammer feature and against other brands like Hilti, Ryobi, Makita, DeWalt, Milwaukee. Battery is at three bars. I am sorry it is not four. At speed one, speed two, Fantastic. Let's see what this can do. Alrighty, so we're gonna start off small. We're gonna do a one inch, we're gonna do two holes. We're gonna do a one inch spade bit. Nice ratcheting clutch. Alright, so we're gonna start off right here. Alright, so ready, go. Time. Let's do one more. All right, so ready, go. Time. All right, let's switch over to the XTR, which I'm excited about this. Nice ratcheting clutch, it is on drill. Let's make sure of that. All right, so ready, go. One more. All right, so ready, go. Time. And like I said, it does feel very front heavy. It does. It does. You know, you don't, obviously you don't feel it if you're like this, but if you're uh, doing something against the wall, yeah. All right, so we're gonna do one, one and a half inch hole. Let's see what this can do. All right, so ready, go. Oh, it cut, it cut out. Time. All right, let's see if the, what the XR can do. All right, so I think we're clear. All right, so ready, go. Oh, whoa, that cut off even sooner. That's disappointing. You know, we're gonna do that one more. I'm gonna give this the benefit of the doubt. We're gonna do that one more time. All right, that's, that, that was disappointing. We clear everything. All right, so. Ready, go. That's, that's disappointing. That's disappointing. There we go. Like I said, it's the ultimate run as well. It's the ultimate output. Battery is still at three bars. Three quarter inch Milwaukee drill bit. All right, so ready, go. That's one. That did pretty good. That did pretty good. All right, so ready, go. That's two. It did good. That one did good. Let's see if this could keep up.
two holes. All right, so ready, go. Oh, it cut out. It cut out. Let's see if it cuts out again. All right, so ready, go. Yep, it cut out. You know what? Let's do a test. Let's put the extended run. Uh, let's put this on the other brushless hammer drill. Oh, it doesn't, it, it doesn't fit. You have to fit. Did they do that to us? No, okay, it, so okay, so it was the clip preventing that from going on. Weird that it did that. All right, let's do, let's put this to the test. All right, so now we have the ultimate output battery on the brushless uh, hammer drill, non-XTR. Let's see what this can do. Battery test. All right, so remember this cut out for almost every hole. Let's see if this could not, let's see if this does not cut out. All right, so ready, go. Bingo, bingo, increased power to the motor. This actually does the trick. From the ultimate output battery, we have four bars still on the regular 40 bar battery. All right, so we are gonna do the regular brushless first, speed two. Let's see how long it takes to cut out a three inch hole. We clear everything. All right, so ready, go. I'll stop the timer, my bad. Wanna make sure it was on speed two. So I feel that heat. Time. All right, let's do a quick temperature reading on the, on the tool. Hundred and five. This got up to a hundred and five. A hundred and twenty-two. Sorry, one hundred twenty-one. All right, so we clear everything. Ready, go. That's on drill, right? Yep, speed two. All right, so continue. Time. Very good. Let's do a quick temperature reading. 103 degrees. 103 degrees. Alrighty, let's take this off. One thing I wanted to test out really quick right now is if you actually have to take off the belt clip from the regular brushless tools to use the ultimate output batteries. Uh, it would be a huge disappointment if you actually had to do that. So we are gonna take that off. Slides on like nothing. Right, let's put the belt clip on. All right, so that is a huge disappointment that you, like the, uh, the battery is compatible with these tools, but you have to take the belt clip off to use these, use the new batteries on the old style tools. The belt clip is just, it's a different design. Uh, you are gonna need to get a new style belt clip to use these in here. As you can see now, it, it, it just doesn't wanna go on now. As you can see, I damaged the battery. Damaged the battery. And if you keep on doing that, that bad, this part is just gonna get completely worn out. Let's see if I can take it out with ease. Oh, 
No, you cannot. Not with these. But when it comes to these two drills, is there, like, I'm glad that, you know, uh, Cobalt didn't make a new XTR line. Uh, this is just the hammer drill. We just did a little demonstration of this. I'm sorry if this is not in complete detail. Uh, we are going to do a complete detailed video coming soon. And a complete versus video between these two and other brands. With using the uh, all features, screw, drill, and hammer drill. And so, yeah, like, uh, am I disappointed? I, I, the, all right, so the main thing I'm disappointed with is this is extremely front heavy beyond belief because there is no weight back here resting on your thumb like as, as, as you can see on this design there you have a little bit of weight above your thumb which is nice and easy when it comes to balance so this is not a well balanced machine especially with the battery hanging off so uh far in front of the tool along with all this this is not a balanced tool at all I thought it was going to be a little bit more compact. I thought I, I thought this was going to be smaller. I thought this was going to be the size of the DeWalt Atom uh, Atomic. So this is not a small drill. It, they say it's compact, but it is not. This is compact, but yeah, this is not compact. This thing is huge, and so uh, so yeah. There's not much of a difference between these two, you know. So. I, so I, that's my main disappointment is the size. I thought this was going to be a lot smaller. More videos are coming up, more test videos with this against uh, these two Cobalts. Hilti, DeWalt, M M Milwaukee, Makita, Ryobi, uh, Rigid. You know, so more test videos coming up. Uh, so please uh, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And one last time, I am very sorry for my... Uh, lacking of uh uploading t uploading videos it's been really busy with the pandemic uh busy at work and i had technical issues with my computer and adjusting the mic i think i got the mic packed down but but yeah that's pretty much it i i'm sorry you guys in a little bit i will be in the back of the routine uploading almost every day so so that's pretty much it please subscribe to the channel hit the bell button to be notified of future videos this is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.